Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're doing the second installment of my spring cleaning series, which I'm really excited about because it's been super motivating for me to get my house clean knowing I'm not doing it alone. So thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna be tackling the refrigerator, which mine is really, really bad. I'm a little scared. Surprisingly, my freezer is looking pretty good. I came up with an organization system that's worked really, really well for us. So I'll go ahead and show it to you and I've kind of categorized things. So it's made it really easy for me to put things away, find things and just keep things rotated through. Okay, Lakey, are you gonna be my helper today? Yeah. Thank you so much. Hi. He is a great helper. Do you like cleaning? Yeah. All right, let's get going. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my garbage can and bring it over to the refrigerator just to make tossing things really, really quick. Then starting on the top shelf, I'm gonna check expiration dates and look out for leftovers that we clearly did not eat in time. Mold. The mold. So bad. Yes, definitely. I felt your heart beat, felt your mouth. Then I had grabbed these little white baskets, I think from Hobby Lobby, but you can get these at Target or even places like TJ Maxx. I really like keeping pre-sliced cheeses and lunch meat in this basket. Just in case we want to make sandwiches, it's really easy. We have everything in one spot. And then I just place these in vertically so that they are easier to see. Then working my way down the shelves, I just went ahead and cleared everything out and gave the whole fridge a good scrub down. I did use a little bit of soap, which I kind of regretted in the end. It was a lot harder to get off just trying to wipe it. If I had put these glass pieces in the sink and just rinsed them, it would have been so much easier. So I definitely recommend just a tiny dab of soap or even just some vinegar. You feel this way. During this pregnancy especially, I have been loving Greek yogurt. Chobani is my favorite, so I wanted to create a special little basket just for those. The shelf below that one is where we keep all of our milk, and surprisingly, this was definitely the most grimy shelf of all, so I went ahead and gave that a good scrub down. Down to the ocean floor, your dark brown eyes reflect Tomorrow is grocery shopping day, so I'm definitely running low on some staples, but I wanted to make sure to remind myself to pull the things we need to use first into the front. This middle drawer is perfect for the kids' snacks, and again, I have a couple more of those little white baskets. These are just a bit smaller, and I like to divide cheeses and yogurts. I also like to stick baby carrots in here just to remind them to have a healthy snack. Cleaning out my produce drawer was actually really sad for me because I realized how much produce I am wasting every single week because I am not well organized in this department. So what I'm going to do that's been working well in other areas is to grab some more baskets and stick them in here. That way things don't pile on top of each other. I can easily and quickly see what I have and hopefully that will help us not waste as much. When you get to the very bottom drawer of your fridge, I highly recommend pulling the entire thing out. All of these crumbs are things that have just fallen. I feel like from the top shelf all the way down, to the bottom of the fridge. This is just like the catch-all place and I feel like it's just extra, extra dirty at the bottom. And then since I had the drawer out, I went ahead and gave it a really, really nice scrub down with some warm water. top shelf before I started was an absolute mess. I feel like it went from the very, very front all the way to the back, just full of, it was really fridge clutter. So I wanted to stop myself by layering things tallest, shortest. That way I can visualize and this food will actually get eaten instead of just getting buried. I know a place would you like to go? You love the view from a there no. Moving 
on to the side of the fridge. I'm gonna start at the top and again work my way down to the bottom, making sure that I clean out each space. I quickly realized that I liked things turned on their side better. It just looked more uniform to me, more organized, and I feel like I was able to fit more in each drawer. So I actually went back to the first condiment space that I organized and turned everything. And I feel like I ended up with way more space and I was so much happier visually with how it looked. The two bottom caddies is where I like to store almond milk, chicken broth, I have some soups in here, so I just went ahead and pulled everything out and made sure nothing was expired. Again, here is a shot of what my poor refrigerator looked like before, so completely cluttered and disorganized. I feel like now it is sparkly clean and everything has a place. In fact, I'm so much more excited to go grocery shopping tomorrow. And a quick tip I have for after you clean out your fridge is while it's fresh in your mind, go ahead and make a grocery list of the things that you know you had to throw away because they were completely expired or you just notice you don't have enough of in your refrigerator. That is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more spring cleaning motivation, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!